Okay guys, next page, dawn of the robots. So dawn means beginning, starting. Passage two, uh, passage two now we are doing. Passage one is over. Yeah. Dawn of the robots. And what do they say? Uh, they are already here, driving cars, vacuuming carpets and feeding hospital patients. You might have seen some robots feeding the patients in Corona wards and all that. So they are already here. And then they say they may not be walking, talking, human-like, uh, sensual beings. Okay, human-like, sensual beings, but they are clever and a little creepy. So they will not be walking, but they will be creeping and creeping robots and all that. So we understand this passage is about the beginning of robots and robots are already there in the form of driverless cars and all that. Now we'll do the same thing. We will read first line of each paragraph and keep in mind we have list of headings also so when you read the first line read it very carefully because you have to answer list of headings too uh, at first sight a at first sight it looked like a typical suburban road accident so there is a description of a road accident land rover approached a chevy and all that stuff okay crack of fender, sound of uh, pain work being scraped and all that. And you can underline DEPRA. Can you find DEPRA in this paragraph? Underline DEPRA. US defense, you can underline that also. And urban challenge is also in capital, so you can underline that as well. Second paragraph, B, the idea that machines could perform to such standards is startling. Driving is a complex task. So driving or driv uh, driving through artificial intelligence in this paragraph, they will talk about this. Again, you can see the words like DEPRA, AI, artificial intelligence. Then you can see Con uh, Cornell University. Have you found Cornell University? Yes. So anything related to that, you will come over here. Paragraph C. It is a remarkable transition that has clear implications for the car to the future, future of cars. Then they say, more importantly, it demonstrates how robotics, science and artificial intelligence have progressed in the past few years. A point stressed by Bill Gates, underline Bill Gates also. After Microsoft, vaccines and now he's going to go into robotics as well. And then Bill Gates, then they mentioned 30 years ago, right? Then you can again say Gates, so this paragraph is all about Bill Gates and 30 years ago and past. 30 years ago means past. Paragraph D. What is the potential for robots and computers in the near future? So this paragraph will decide or will describe the near future potential. Potential means opportunity for robots and computers. And then you see again Gates. Gates does not mean the door, Gates, it means Bill Gates, yeah. Again, they've got Gates and uh, they mentioned one key difficulty is and Gates and all that. Paragraph E, for a long time, researchers tried to get around the problem by attempting to recreate the visual processing that goes on the human cortex. Visual processing, long time, researchers tried and then you can see the names like Nello Christianini, Christianini, okay? Then you can see there are some words in italic also. These words are also important, Journal of Artificial Intelligence. Then you can see University of Bristol in England, okay? And then you see Electrolux Trilobite, got it? All these words must be underlined at the end, Ron Chrysler. And then research in cognitive science at the University of Sussex in England. So underline all these words. Clear? F. Last year, a new Hong Kong restaurant. Now they are giving some example what happened there. Robot kitchen opened with a couple of sensor-laden humanoid machines directing customers to their seats. Each possesses a touch screen on which orders can be keyed in. Like a robot comes to you and there is a touch screen and you order pizza and pay the money and then robot will go back and bring your food. Huh? You'll say, okay, <laughs> something like that. 
<laughs> so you can see here, and again you can see the word Japan, University of Tokyo. Then you can see 22% of the population, 65 over 1 billion. At the end you can see Chrysler said, okay? And you will do it all in less than a minute because I'm explaining and all that takes more time, but you will do it all in one minute. Okay, now we've got question type list of headings. Uh, after that, we have uh, names and the statements. And by the way, you know where Bill Gates is, you know where Nello Christianini is, you know where Ron Chrysler is. Okay, and the last questions are notes completion. Okay, so you are quite familiar with the questions and all that. Uh, to me, it's a good idea. You can take a start with list of headings and then you can proceed to other questions. Otherwise, you can start from questions 24 to 26. There are three questions. You can do them first and after that, come back to list of headings and then go to uh, matching question. Let's do list of heading. Paragraph A. Let's do paragraph A. Listen up. In paragraph A, they have given a description of accident, right? I just want you to read the description and reach the conclusion. Means they tell us about one accident that took place, but what is at the end of that accident? What is that in real? Read that and then come back to list of headings and then see if any heading matches with that. Please go to paragraph A. They're talking about Land Rover approached a Chevy Tau, both are cars. Just read from here, but not on this occasion. Fourth last line, paragraph A, but not on this occasion. No one got out of the cars for the simple reason that they had no human inside them. So the cars had an accident, right? They thought drivers would come out and fight. It's your fault and all that. But actually these were driverless cars. Now go back and see any heading that matches with this incident. And when I ask you the answer, then tell me. Try again. No tukka. <laughs> See what it seemed like and what it actually was. You should focus that, that thing. It sounded like an accident and human will come out, but nobody came out because the cars were driven by artificial intelligence. So heading number five. Three is how robots can save human life. Where are they talking about human life? They did not say anything. Heading number five says what, uh, not what it seemed to be. So it seemed to be a road accident, drivers would come out, but no one came out because they were driven by artificial intelligence. So it's heading number five, uh, not what it seemed to be. Now cross heading number five from the list of headings because one heading will be used only once. And if you use a wrong heading, which is meant for another paragraph, then your two questions will be wrong. And if you select two such type of headings, four questions will be wrong. Satya Nas. Now, let's do paragraph B. Please come to paragraph B. Uh, just focus the first two, three sentences and then see what the idea is. Okay, let's do it together. The idea that machines could perform to such standards is startling, means this idea is astonishing. Driving is a complex task that takes humans a long time to perfect. Yet here each car had its own board computer loaded with a digital map and route plans and was instructed to negotiate busy roads, differentiate blah, 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 and then they say pedestrian stationary objects determine whether other vehicles were parked on moving off and handle various parking maneuvers. 
which robots turn out to be unexpectedly adept at. Focus this thing. Re robots turn out to be unexpectedly adept at. So they change themselves according to that and I'll go back and see which heading is going to match with that. Like robots took care of parked cars and everything and all that. And then they mentioned something in the past about that car accident of Land Rover. They said AI was the only scrape in the entire competition. Mean it was the only bad incident in the entire competition. But otherwise, so just see. Okay, if you still do not find the clue, just read the last three lines. Last three lines will clarify. You found, you read the first line, no, not clear. From the middle, not clear. Now read the last three lines. Yet only three years earlier at Depra's previous driverless car race. Now they are comparing past with present. And they say as compared to the past, things are better now. Every robot combat directed by uh, to navigate across a stretch of open desert either crashed or seized up before getting near the finishing line. Three years earlier this happened and now they have improved a lot. So which heading? Two. One is tackling the issue using a different approach. No. Six is why time scales are impossible to predict. No. Heading number two, a significant improvement on last time. And as I said, yet only three years earlier, at Depra's previous driverless car race, every robot competitor directed to navigate across the stretch, uh, they actually either crashed or seized up. So three years earlier, they had this, but now they mentioned that before. So it's heading number two. Let's go to paragraph C. Now. It is a remarkable transition that has clear implication for the car of the future. Uh, now they are talking about car for the future, remarkable transition. More importantly, it demonstrates how robotic science and artificial intelligence have progressed in the past few years. The progress of artificial intelligence and this in the past few years. And then they mention a point stressed by Bill Gates. Microsoft boss who is a convert to these causes. Robotics industry, read this carefully. Robotics industry is developing in much the same way the computer business did 30 years ago when he made Microsoft and all that. 30 years ago and now robotic industry. So please find a heading that matches with that. Computer business, that is earlier development. 30 years ago means earlier development computer business. So, heading number 8, exactly. Heading number 8 is following the pattern of an earlier development. And what is that earlier development? Yes, computers. The way the computer business did 30 years ago, robotics is following the same pattern. Okay, let's move on, please. Paragraph D, what is the potential for robots and computers in the near future? As we know, they are talking about near future. The fact is, we still have a way to go before real robots catch up with their science fiction counterparts. Science fiction counterparts are which are in the movies, right? So. Gates says and then we got the theory of Gates. So what are the stumbling blocks means what are the problems? What are the obstacles? One key difficulty is getting robots to know their place. They are talking about difficulties. Now just see if there is any heading that matches with that. 
about the movement of robots and all that. As he says, robots to know their place. Heading number? Seven. Very good. The reason why robots rarely move. How do we get to know the reason why robots rarely move? Because one key difficulty is getting robots to know their place. This has nothing to do with class or etiquette but concerns the simple issue of positioning. Humans orient themselves with other objects in a room very easily. Robots find the task almost impossible. Okay, let's do paragraph E. For a long time, researchers tried to get round the problem by attempting to recreate the visual processing that goes on in the human cortex. Cortex is the part of the eye. However, that challenge has proved to be singularly ex uh, exacting and complex. So, scientists have turned to simpler alternative. We have become far more and all that. Now, just see if there is anything that matches with it. First, they mention a problem and then they describe a way to sort out the problem. Scientists have turned to simpler alternative. Alternative means a different approach, right? So, which heading? One. One. Very good. Tackling the issue using a different approach. For issue, they use problem and all that. Okay, let's do paragraph E. Now, paragraph F. Last year, a new Hong Kong restaurant and all that. You can find it easily. You've already done a lot. Robots at work. Heading number? Four. Four. Very good. Examples of robots at work. How? In a restaurant, robot is working and all that, yeah? Okay, that's fine. 